Have you ever done Instagram research from your desktop? And if you haven't, that's totally okay. But doing research from the mobile app Instagram can be time consuming and difficult as opposed to easier and more efficient when you're using the desktop. And stick around to the end where I'm gonna teach you how to respond to your notifications from the desktop. It is possible. Make sure you subscribe, especially if you love Instagram, and be sure to hit the bell so that you get notified of a new Instagram video that I release there every single Monday. I'm Subi Zimmerman and I've taught thousands of business owners how to make money on Instagram and today I'm going to teach you how to do Instagram research from your desktop computer. And thank you so much Kat, the awesome blogger, who has given some love in the comments below and if you want to feature in one of my upcoming YouTube videos, comment below and be sure to put your Instagram handle. Market research. You just might get tired using your phone, it's a little screen, so doing market research on the desktop makes it so much easier. If you're not sure how to use Instagram from your desktop, I linked a video for you right below this one so that you can go watch that. In search on the desktop, you can put the pound sign in front of a word. So we're gonna go general and we're gonna put garden. Here we are in garden and so if this is your space, I would follow this hashtag so that you could see all the posts in your home feed that are popping up with this hashtag, but let's tap into the top post here and see what hashtags they're using, which look awesome. So now what you can do, and you can only do this on the desktop, you can copy the hashtags that they have here, and you can open up, I like to use notes, so I would open up a new tab, and I would call it garden, and then I would put all those hashtags here. What I would actually do is spend time tapping into each one, because maybe you're a gardener that grows food that you eat, so that makes sense to have grow what you eat, and you might just discover a few more hashtags from this post that you can add to your notes. You can have multiple tabs open, and you can read the descriptions, and you can see the tags much easier. And if you're unsure of what a tag is, I linked a video below for you. See, I like to make things so much easier for you. Making use of your computer. While you're doing your research, you can pull up another document to take notes on. Maybe you do it in Notes, maybe you do it in Trello, maybe you do it in Evernote. Whatever it is, you can just pull that up and have it right by your side so you can see it while you're working. This is how you can do some research. You can have tabs across the top of information that you want to collect, and then you can write the number of posts that that hashtag has had, and then you can write your thoughts about it and whether it's a good one for you to use. You can even highlight that row if you're like, oh, I want to use that hashtag another time. You can have whatever color-coded system that's going to work for your business, and this just makes it really easy to collect those hashtags that you're going to start using. If you're looking to attract more followers and buyers on Instagram, join me for a free training. It's called The Three Keys to Getting More Followers and Buyers Without the Overwhelm. I link that for you below this video. Hashtag research. The number one thing you should be spending time on is hashtag research, and this does take time. So instead of going down rabbit holes on Instagram on your app, you can have tabs open on your computer and you can see which one of those hashtags are gonna work the best for your business by tapping in and seeing the content that's there. And then you don't lose track of things as easily as you can on your phone. All the tabs are open, all the hashtags are there. It's a beautiful thing. And if you see a hashtag you like and the content makes sense for your business, Make sure that you put that hashtag in notes or whatever you prefer on your desktop and then categorize that hashtag so you have it there for all those hashtag categories. And yes, I have a shit ton of hashtag videos that will absolutely help you and they're linked below this video. Compiling your research. Let me show you how I compile some of my research. One of the tools that my team and I use is called Trello and we have an idea board where we put all of the market research that we do. For my final tip, you can easily respond to your Instagram notifications on your Facebook business page. I'm gonna show you how. If you have a business page on Facebook, you can respond to your notifications. Just tap into the inbox and you will see all your notifications that you have on Instagram. Right here on the left-hand side, you wanna tap into Instagram. Here you're gonna see all of your notifications. The ones that are bold are the most recent notifications that you got. Here are all the notifications on this post that I recently got. And the ones that are bold are ones that I need to respond to. As you can see, I got a lot of notifications here. Tap on the arrow and respond right here. You are not too old. People, you're not too old and it's not too late. And then just tap return. If you want to format your post with a simple copy and paste, I linked a resource for you. It's really awesome and you're going to appreciate it. And make sure that you follow me on Instagram at the Instagram expert where I share Instagram tips every day.
Did you like this video? Hit subscribe and give me good vibes and let me know in the comments below how you're gonna start using your computer more efficiently for your Instagram market research. And I'll see you in the next video. Doing research from your desktop to look, wait, for what, what is it? And make, make sure, do I say make sure? And make sure?